are today the second largest producer and exporter of palm oil. Uh, Malaysia contributes 23% in terms of global production and 30% in terms of global exports. And I believe this not only helps Malaysia, but it helps importing countries in terms of food security needs. As of today, we have only 5.65 million hectares planted with oil palm and that is only 17% of the total land area of Malaysia. It also provides a vital and sustainable source of income for the many smallholders in Malaysia. We have more than 450,000 smallholders and once planted, this crop remains on the same piece of land for the next 25 to 30 years. So it assists them to improve and have a better standard of living and that also helps to sort of reduce the income gap between the rural and urban populations. It provides a lot of assurance and confidence to our buyers and customers that palm oil is sustainably produced here in Malaysia. And for the enhanced MSPO 2.0 scheme that was introduced in 2022, we have a no deforestation policy. We have to avoid high conservation value areas. They have to carry out social impact assessments. They also have to follow the 11 ILO indicators on labour practices. I think a very good example is uh, satellite imaging. That helps to assist with traceability and today traceability is a requirement for supply chains, customers are demanding and also asking that trace, full traceability be provided for the palm oil sector. As you know, we are also very much dependent on labour, especially foreign labour. So as a way to reduce our dependency on foreign labour, we it is important for us, where possible, to adopt mechanisation and also technology one is to increase productivity and also to increase efficiency of this sector.